I really want to focus uh, on those house hackers today for this particular show because I really like this investment for those kind of people, right? I mean, where else are you going to get a $100,000 duplex that brings in almost $2,000 a month, right? That's why people come to the Cleveland market. This is what house hackers do. This is what people like me do. This is how people go from being Radio Shack store managers to multimillionaires. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't wise to be giving it to you straight. One of my favorite things about the Cleveland market is you can literally take regular people, regular Joes, just like regular cats, especially if they're young dogs, and you could make millionaires out of them and it it it's like a it takes some time but it's like a, a a systemized process and pretty much anybody could do it right what what the market allows for us here folks is to be able to get into real estate then have that real estate pay for itself also pay for our living expenses and we can do this with like next to no money right like way back in the day i've told this story so like if you're brand new to holton wise tv this is the first time you've heard it uh if you watch holton wise tv all the time you've probably heard this before right before we uh got holton wise where it is before the 200 million dollars in sales before the 75 million dollar portfolio in cleveland I was managing a Radio Shack, uh, and I owned a house that I bought for 85500 I house hacked that house, and when I was managing that Radio Shack, dude, I was making like like 30 k and it was like a minimum of 55 hours a week like for the salary, right? So it, it was like $14, $15, and this is back in like 08, 09, something like that, right? So uh, I'm living proof that uh, the Cleveland market can allow you to do that and uh, can allow you to go from very little money uh, to a lot of money, right? And you could do that with properties uh, like the one I have for you today, right? 3121 West Hunter First, Cleveland, 44111, right? A little West Side Cleveland action. Now, this is a side-by-side -side duplex, which... Uh, going back to if you actually watch Holton Weiss TV all the time, you already know this, but I love them side-by-side -side units, folks. I think the side-by-side -side units are, are much better than the up-and-down units, right? The only negative to a side-by-side -side unit is there's not a lot of them in the Cleveland market. I'd say like 90%, 95% maybe uh, of the duplexes in the Cleveland area are the up-down duplexes. And when you have an up-down duplex, you have more shared space for the tenant, shared laundry, shared basement. Uh, that sucks, right? Uh, additionally, you have somebody above somebody, uh, somebody below somebody, right? So they're always fighting. And when you're dealing with like C-grade property, C-grade assets, C-grade tenant bases, tenants fighting and, and turning over is like really the, the big thing that's going to cost you money, right? Because the monthly rents are great. Uh, when everything's going smooth, it's awesome. Uh, but it's the hassle. It's the tenants getting evicted. It's the tenants moving out, tenants trashing the units uh, that makes life hard for investors, right? So whenever you get the opportunity to get a side-by-side, -side, uh, tenants have less common space. Their unit rents for more. It feels more like a single-family home. It's got an upstairs, a downstairs. Uh, and typically, the tenants are going to stay longer, right? And staying longer is even more important than paying more, right? So that's what we have here for you today. But if you're looking at the interior of this, like, obviously... Right? It looks like dog shit. Like we we, we don't got to we don't got to mess around here and like try to pretend uh, that this unit doesn't look like dog shit because it absolutely does, right? The tenants that used to live in this unit just got evicted, uh, it, and this is what uh, the particular owner was left with. But that folks, that that right there, that is the ticket. That's the golden ticket. You need a unit to look like some dog shit so you could come in there as a relatively new investor, moderate level investor, having little or no money, and you could take that dog shit and you could turn that uh, into a very successful career via house hacking, right? What you could do with an asset like this, folks, is 199 okay? You could get into this thing for $3,500 out of your, well, it might be like 37, right? Three and a half percent, right? So three and a half percent of 100K would be 3,500. I don't know what the hell three and a half percent of uh, ten grand would be. I don't know, but you know, a couple hundred bucks here and over there. It doesn't. It's irrelevant, right? Under four k, right? You can get in there, and you could take over this investment, uh, and you could live, right? Very reasonably sized space unit, right? A three one feels like a house. You could live there, 
right? And then you could have the other tenant on the other side paying off your mortgage, right? Currently, uh, they're bringing 850, but market rent for a unit like this actually in 2023, right, is actually 900, right? So full market rent, if you were to rent this to two tenants, is 1800, right? So even if you're not thinking about becoming a house hacker, if you're just another type of uh, regular investor out there or not a state investor, you're looking at this just as a pure rental property. I mean, where else are you going to get a $100,000 duplex that brings in almost $2,000 a month, right? That's why people come to the Cleveland market, right? But I really want to focus uh, on those house hackers today for this particular show because I really like this investment for those kind of people, right? Um, so you could get in there, right? Live for free, not have to pay a mortgage, right? Your tenant's going to pay off your mortgage. You just need to come up with four grand, right? So if you're living in Cleveland right now, you don't own anything. You're making thirty, thirty-five, forty thousand dollars, and one day you want to become wealthy. This is your ticket, man. Scrap together four k, right, and then get in there. And clean this thing up yourself. Now, for like regular investors, investors who want to hire general contractors to get it lead certified, to get the unit rent ready, to get Section 8 ready to roll, we're probably looking at like twenty-five, thirty thousand dollars to get this unit uh, where it needs to be, uh, legit, lead certified, all that jazz, right? If you're if you're paying other folks, you're probably looking at twenty-five, thirty k. Because again, it looks like dog shit, right? We don't have to run away from the fact that it looks like dog shit, right? But if it didn't look like dog shit, we wouldn't be selling a side-by-side -side duplex with six freaking bedrooms for 110K, right? It'd be a lot more expensive, right? So there is the opportunity, and I especially see that opportunity uh, for those house hackers, right? Like say you're paying $900 a month or $1,000 a month to live in Cleveland, right? You're renting something. That's $12,000 a year that you are paying of your, you know, yearly salary just to have a roof over your head and what do you get for it you get absolutely nothing right i want to talk to you about instead of paying twelve thousand dollars a year you keep that twelve thousand dollars a year in your pocket and live completely free and all you had to do is invest 4k in some of your time to fix up this unit because that other tenant will be paying 900 bucks a month which will more than cover your mortgage your taxes and your insurance they will cover that thus allowing you to save that twelve thousand dollars a year that you would normally be spending on your housing right so now you have Free money coming in. You have $12,000 coming in. What should you do? Save it up. Guess what? You could live in this property for a year. And then in one year, move out of this property. Use your $12,000 that you saved up. Do this again, right? Take four of it. Buy another duplex. Use the other eight to fix it up right? Or just put money in the bank, okay? And then slap a tenant in your old unit for 900. Now you're bringing 1800 and you're still living for free because you've moved on to your second property, folks. This is what house hackers do. This is what people like me do. This is how people go from being Radio Shack store managers to multimillionaires. Doing deals like this, getting in there, dealing with the dirt, dealing with the grime. You'll be able to save yourself so much money handling that renovation because does that unit look like dog shit? Absolutely, man. But you could totally fix it up, make it reasonable, save that $12,000 a year, okay? Save it, keep it in your pocket, move on every single year, do this for 10 years. You've now got 10 of these suckers, Let's say they're all valued at about 100K. They're all probably going to be valued more, right? At that point, the property is like when it's all fixed up, it's probably worth like 140, right? But let's say they're all worth like 100. It's a million dollars in net worth. And you started the whole thing with some elbow grease in $4,000. That, that, folks, is what we can do in Cleveland. That is why people from California, New York, Texas, Right, We get a lot of folks from the Dallas area. Right, They don't care about them cowboys. They come here because you can't create that wealth for only $4,000 in all these other markets. You can't do this in Portland, Oregon. You can't do this anywhere in California, folks. You can't do this in Manhattan. But you could do it here in Cleveland, and those people that don't live here are jealous. Jealous that we have the opportunities to turn 4K into something big. You know what 4K gets you in L.A.? 
a parking spot. Just kidding. No, it doesn't. Not even fucking close. Not even close to being able to get you a parking spot. Wouldn't even get you a parking spot in Chicago, folks. But you could do that kind of stuff here. You can get the roof over your head paid for, get cash flow coming in, and then on top of that cash flow, the tenant pays off your note. You get the whole value. You could become a millionaire doing dirty, nasty dog shit deals just like this one. In as little as 10 years. And everything that I just laid out for you, I've done, I've helped other people do. It does not require any like extreme level of skill. It's pretty simple. I just laid out the blueprint for you. All you got to do now, put up the 4K, move in, and uh, grab yourself a paintbrush and a broom and make it look nice, make it look livable for yourself, and get to work. If that makes sense for you. Or if you're an out-of-state investor or just a regular investor and you're like, yeah, that's all great, but like, yo, dude, 1800 bucks, let me just buy that anyway. That's fine too, man. We don't judge. Whoever has got the green first is who we're going to sell it to. Uh, I would like to see this go to an owner-occupant. I'd like to see somebody create a career, but you know what? I'd also like to see it go to an out-of-state investor because, uh, I mean, let's face it, I'm just going to get some money when I sell it to somebody. So, like, I just really want the money. But I laid out a great a great plan of attack for uh, multiple different people. And uh, it would be nice to see somebody uh, build something out of nothing. I always love seeing young Cleveland entrepreneurs do that, right? When we get the opportunity to help some young cat uh, come up into Cleveland and kind of come up the same way I did, it gives me a little, a little warm and fuzzy. I mean, not as much of a warm and fuzzy as cold hard cash does because, like, you know, I'm a, you know, I'm a capitalist, obviously, but it is quite nice to see. So if you're going to give me that warm and fuzzy by being a local Cleveland cat trying to build yourself from something up to or from nothing up to something, sweet. If you're an out-of-state investor just paying cash or you already have your financing in place, doing it with a 25% down loan, that's sweet too. Either way, folks, you just got to let us know by sending an email, sales at holdenwise.com. If you're paying cash, include your proof of funds. If you're getting a loan, include your pre-approval letter. If you need a lender, I have lenders for you, right? I have lenders uh, for the out-of-state investors who are not going to live there. You're looking at terms of 30-year terms, fixed interest, 25% down. I have lenders for the local people that want to live in that one unit. Your terms are going to be even more attractive. Like I said, 3.5% down, fixed interest, low interest. Just send our team the email, uh, how much you're willing to offer, include those pre-approval or proof of funds letters and uh, guess what if you have your own real estate agent and you actually want to work uh, with them directly that's fine too just go ahead and have them uh, look up information on the MLS on how they could submit the offer to us and hey guess what even before you make that offer if you want to get in and actually tour that unit so you can see how much work you'd actually need to do uh, to get ready for yourself we'll get you in there too so just send that email uh, or you could reach out to your own real estate agent who will then take you in uh, for your own tour information on how they could get you in there is in the MLS. Let's make somebody a millionaire today. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.